leaders have interests. Some of them are undisclosed interests, which we can call them personal strategic interests. And others have common interests for common good. That's when they come and meet at a, a political party level. For the case of my colleague, Sechkuo, I don't think that people have understood him very well. So he has to make people understand him for him not to be misjudged or to act in a suspicious manner. So he could be having his strategic interests, which he has never disclosed. And when he has not got them, he moves away. And when he has got them, he comes in. What happens is that in any organization or in a place where you have two or more people congregating, there are normally differences. But the most important thing is how do you resolve those differences? You can resolve them through negotiations and discussions. Uh, we can resolve them through the legal process. But in this case, we have had sec the Sekikubo group recently met the, His Excellency the President, who is the chairman of the party. I'm sure they could have arrived at a number of issues. And uh, basing on that, I don't think Sekikubo's declaration came out of the blue. I think there are some things that they could have agreed on with the chairman of the party. And I think what may be remaining now, if it is reconciliation, that will have to be formally brought before the NRM structures because the suspension was approved by the structure and then things will be streamlined. I don't see any, any, any big issue in that because those things normally happen.